Hey everyone. So, uh, I didn't put up a video yesterday because it was my birthday. So, I was just relaxing. And, uh, yeah. So, today is Monday. And I had to come downtown to, uh, to check how much we have to pay for what's called control vehicular. Now in Canada, United States, as far as I'm aware, uh, well, I know in Canada, when you buy a vehicle, all you need to do is get insurance and that's it. As long as you have your license, you can go wherever you want. But here in Mexico, uh, insurance is optional. And uh, you have to pay what's called, uh, depending on the state you're in, you either have to pay what's called tenencia or control vehicular, basically the same thing. And what it is, is your right to be able to drive your car. It's a pretty big scam. And uh, in my personal opinion, I think they should just... Uh, get rid of it and force everyone to have insurance you have to have insurance in order to uh, in order to circulate <clears throat> and like in Canada you get a sticker that shows you're paid until whenever and uh, that way the cops know but here in Mexico you don't have that you don't get a sticker, you don't, there's really no way. You have your plates, and that's it. And, uh, so yeah, so, <clears throat> I got a letter, uh, last, the week before last, that, from the government that says that I was overdue on my tenencia, and that I have 15 days to pay it, so I came down today to check it, and we owe year 2019 and 2020 oops and so it's just about 6,000 pesos that we owe so around I think around $350 more or less and uh, yeah so we got to pay that otherwise we're gonna get a, a fine and they could possibly take the vehicle so <clears throat> um, something else I wanted to talk about was that uh, I've noticed that since I started doing the the photos and kind of giving a kind of a tour of the places that we've been to, uh, my views have gone up more or less, but um, the time viewed is basically the time that I talk and then a little bit of the showing the pictures and people stop watching. The average is about five minutes. And on my other videos the average was around 10 to 15 minutes. So kind of a big difference and I lost a subscriber. So I decided that uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. <clears throat> and I apologize for those that watch my videos regularly and um, and maybe were kind of disappointed that I, I, I didn't think about it at the time, but I was probably starting to do what most other channels do about living in Mexico. It's just like a, a tourism channel. And that's not really what I am and what I like to do, so... Um, so I'm going to stop doing that. Um, and to be honest, I, I wasn't really something I, I was enjoying doing. It was kind of nice to relive the memories and things, but um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. It's not my my thing. I was doing it more for my viewers, thinking that maybe 
you guys would like that more rather than just me yapping but uh, apparently not so I guess in a strange way I'm flattered um, and yeah so um, <clears throat> I'm down here I, I just went to check how much I paid I'm sitting in the car and uh, the city is smoky you can't really see it where I am but like from far you can tell there was a, a major fire in a uh, cardboard recycling plant a big one and it burned to the ground and my theory is that it was burned to the ground because they didn't pay what's called derechos de piso to the cartels or the gangs derechos de piso here in Mexico when you start a business more often than not you're going to have somebody from a local gang or cartel that is going to come and tell you you have to pay them basically protection money that you have to pay to have a business in their territory. And if you don't, then a whole number of things can go wrong. And one of them would be that they burn down your business. And... Uh, <clears throat> That's my theory, because it happens quite a lot in recycling plants here. And um, a lot of the, the poor people here in Mexico, you see it a lot, is they go around with these carts, these wheeled carts, and they go through the garbage, they try and find uh, bottles that they can recycle and cardboard, and they collect it, they take it to get money. And uh, that's how they survive. And really, I couldn't even tell you where a recycling plant is. Um, it's not the same as in Canada. In Canada, they have a lot of uh, recycling depots around. And people will save their cans and bottles and things like that and take it in. You know, you get five cents for a can, uh, 10 cents for two liter bottles, I think it is, or whatever it was back then. Uh, 15 or 20 cents for wine bottles things like that and uh, a lot of people did it but here in Mexico the recycling plants are generally way out in the middle of nowhere and uh, you can't just go there and recycle a few bottles they do it by weight so which is why the the people uh, that do that to help them get by uh, go around with these these carts and they collect as much as they possibly can take it to a recycler now the recyclers from what I've seen kind of passing them up in a, a couple that uh, I think the recycling plants anyway you see these massive stacks of cardboard all over the place but you don't see any kind of recycling it's basically they're just warehousing cardboard so yeah uh, and as you can imagine somebody drops a match everything goes up so really easy to to do and uh, yeah so air quality here today isn't that great having to walk around with the mask on and uh, the smell of smoke in the air and <clears throat> really not nice and uh, for a Monday, the traffic actually isn't that bad. I'm kind of, it always makes me wonder what's going on when the traffic isn't very normal. Um, I don't know, it's just the way my mind works. Um, I want to know the why. But anyway, um, just kind of a short video this week, uh, a little late. I was really debating on kind of what I'm going to do, where I'm going to go from here on this channel. I don't really know, so if you want to stick around and find out, great. And uh, 
I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard because, I mean, there, there is a ton to talk about, a lot of things that, that I could, you know, mention and just give little insights here and there about what it's like to live in Mexico, um, even if you never plan on coming, just what it's like to live in another country. And, um, it's, I don't know. Oh, and the big news, yeah. You've probably heard about it. The number one military guy here in Mexico, Cienfuegos, was caught in Los Angeles and is uh, in jail right now waiting for a trial for, I believe it is money laundering and um, taking bribes from cartels, which was a major blow to the country because this guy was seen as, you know, it was really, really respected. And because of him, as well as kind of the the face of the military, this happening really is a blow to the uh, to the military and how Mexican people see the military and respect them. Generally, in Mexico, there's no respect for police, not state, federal, nothing. But for the military, there's a lot of respect in general. And now with this, uh, it's, I imagine it's fallen quite a fair bit. So, um, yeah, big news there. But anyway, uh, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to head back home. And um, this will be my video for this week. Not very long. Um, and I'm going to spend the week just kind of figuring out what... Uh, what I'm gonna do with uh, for videos for you guys and um, as well I've been spending a lot of time trying to uh, build up my t-shirt design business I guess you would call it uh, online business and so it's something I, I really enjoy I really kind of get focused into it it helps with my anxiety kind of gives me something to focus on and I really like it uh, the designing aspect and then seeing how it looks on the different uh, products you know t-shirts hoodies coffee cups all kinds of things and I really do enjoy it so I, I, I kind of I lose track of time I'll start doing it and next thing I know you know it's six seven o'clock at night and uh, you know of course I take breaks because I'm looking after my daughter as well but uh, generally she's she's really good she's really kind of happy just I put on her videos and she'll lay down and you know drink her bottle or just play beside me and every once in a while she'll want to come up and see what I'm doing and things like that so um, yeah, so that, that kind of, it takes a lot of time, not just the creating the art side of it, but also once I upload it, I have to size it for the, for the different products and pick colors and all that stuff. So, yeah, um, if you're interested, I'm not going to plug it every video. It's just, uh, you know, if you, if you guys want to take a look, I'll, I'm just going to leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. And that's about it. Um, but yeah, so that is the video for this week. Um, I hope you're doing okay. That uh, everyone's happy and healthy and safe at home, mostly, I hope. Um, and I shall see you next week. Take care.